Mark Zuckerberg is building a $100 million compound in Hawaii. And by the way, that's just the price of the house alone. It's not even including the land. And I know I've said this before, but this place is on track to be wilder than any other residential home we've talked about here on the channel before. His new home is partially constructed and they're saying that this is going to be one of the most expensive personal construction projects in modern history. It's going to consist of several mansions and over a dozen buildings buildings that will all be connected by a tunnel, a tunnel which will also lead you to a 5,000 square foot underground bunker. Awesome. And the place is about as private as you can get. Zuckerberg has amassed over a thousand acres of land to make 100% sure that he'll never have any neighbors. It sounds like a pipe dream on the surface, but this story is very real. Construction has been happening here for a while now, although basically everything happening on site has been super top secret. One of the people working on the home told a reporter that working on this project is kind of like Fight Club. We don't talk about Fight Club. Shout out to Wired, by the way. They did an incredibly thorough investigation on this story the other day. We'll be referencing their material a lot in today's episode. Let's talk about Mark Zuckerberg's elusive, top secret Hawaii compound. This crazy project is going down on the north coast of the island of Kauai. This is the oldest and least developed of all of the Hawaii islands. So the project itself and the island both kind of fit the bill for being pretty off the grid. The story goes that Mark and his wife Priscilla got married in 2012 and almost immediately fell in love with Hawaii. By 2014 though, this is when they picked up their first batch of properties in Kauai and that first big buy alone set Mark back a hundred million dollars. By 2016, he was already seeking some privacy so he built a six foot tall wall around the property which the locals were not thrilled about. And I wasn't able to track down every single purchase that he made from then till now, but what we know at this point is that Mark owns 1,400 acres in this region of Kauai, and he spent $170 million in total on all this land. Just to put that in some perspective, by the way, a football field is only about 1.32 acres, which means that Mark's land amounts to over 1,000 football fields worth of space. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning, Wired is the group who did the investigation into this compound and was able to uncover and release a bunch of information. This article is crazy long. I'll link to it down in the description for any of you guys who want to read it all the way through. But today, let's just look at some of the highlights together. This cover photo here that is by Phil Young shows us this private property sign. It looks like basically the entire property is lined with these blue and white signs. So there's basically no way that anyone's going to see inside here because for one, there's a six foot block wall that surrounds the property. And then for two, they've got security guards at the entrance gate. And then the surrounding beaches have these patrol guys that are cruising around on ATVs. Any of the workers who have to work on the property, whether they're a carpenter or an electrician or whatever, is bound by a crazy strict non-disclosure agreement. And according to some of the workers who worked on this project, they say that a lot of their coworkers have actually been fired because they've posted about the project on social media. And what's crazy is that this project is so huge that a big percentage of the island is actually bound by this NDA. I think that Kauai only has like 70,000 people in total living on the island. So yeah, the cat's out of the bag that Mark Zuckerberg is behind this project at this point, but I guess everyone's still bound by this NDA and no one's technically supposed to talk about what happening behind those walls. These guys uncovered that the property will have a 5,000 square foot underground shelter, which will have its own energy and food supplies. And when you couple this with land prices, the total project's gonna cost about $270 million. That's not far off from that Ken Griffin property that we talked about a month or two ago out in Palm Beach, but the compound that Mark Zuckerberg is building here in Kauai is definitely going to be way bigger and way crazier than that house of Ken Griffin's. This is the main gate that gives you access to the property. I'm sure this is where all the workers are driving in and out of. And look, if we pull this thing up on Google Aerial View, so, it's hard telling exactly where Zuckerberg's property is. 7800 Kalua Road is what we were just looking at. This is where the main gate is. So his property is somewhere right around kind of this section here. I think he actually technically even owns a little bit more of it that goes up this way to the north. But yeah, just look how much land this is that he owns. 
I don't know where he's tucking his house, probably somewhere back here closer to the water, I would guess. At least that's where I would want my house. I guess this project has been so secretive and crazy to the locals that one of the architects who's not affiliated with the project, he joked that this project reminds him of medieval rulers who, according to legend, killed the architects of their most ambitious projects so the secrets of their designs would die with them. And I've actually heard of this before, like for people who are designing mansions that have underground bunkers or have maybe like a safe to store a bunch of money and valuables and stuff like that, they actually won't put those spaces on the permitted plans because the people who build these houses don't want that on public record that they've got a bunker on their property or a place to store a bunch of expensive stuff. And Wired did obtain some documents from public records that show that this underground shelter is actually gonna have a blast resistant door. That's pretty crazy. Okay, I love this part. So on top of the couple of mansions that he's building, plus the bunker, plus all the other like office structures and stuff, he's also putting in a web of 11 disc shaped tree houses, which will be connected by intricate rope bridges, allowing visitors to cross from one building to the next while staying among the treetops. Seems totally unnecessary, but I'm not gonna lie. If I was a billionaire, and I was building out this property, I'd probably do the same thing. That sounds awesome. <laughs> These guys keep referencing the plans, so I guess Wired somehow actually got their hands on the blueprints. No idea how, but they're saying there's two central mansions that will be joined by a tunnel, which will branch off into that shelter we were talking about. The shelter is gonna have a living space, a mechanical room, an escape hatch. They'll have a bunch of blind doors throughout the property that are made to imitate the design of the surrounding walls, and the concrete shelter underground is going to be constructed of metal and filled with concrete. This place is going to be completely self-sufficient, so Mark will be able to live off the grid, I guess, if he wants to. He's going to have his own huge water tank with a pump system. A bunch of food is being produced on the property. I mean, he's got 1,400 acres. Here's another picture. I think this is probably the best we're going to get as far as, like, photos of the structures on the property. Here's another picture of that wall that everybody hates, but, hey, at least it's not, like, an ugly chain-link fence or something. It's nice looking wall. Then this last section of the article talks about how obviously since Mark Zuckerberg has entered the island, started construction, he's had to get on board with a bunch of political figures. He's been donating tons and tons of money to local groups. He's obviously created tons of jobs just in the building of this compound. And so overall, they're saying that most people view his presence on Kauai as a net positive. Like I like this quote right here. It says, what's better, Zuckerberg who owns a thousand acres or a hundred different millionaires who each own a hundred acres? The world seems to be pretty divided about how these types of people spend their money. Some people are completely disgusted by it. Other people like me are just more so fascinated by it. Let me know what side of the fence you guys fall in down in the comments. I saw some people saying that it's kind of ironic that Mark Zuckerberg is seeking so much privacy when he kind of made his fortune monetizing other people's privacy on the internet. It's not a huge surprise though. I mean, he has been all about privacy for a while. He owns multiple homes. All of them are very secluded. To anybody who thinks that it's wasteful for one person to own all of this land, apparently when he bought the land, he actually rescinded an existing agreement that would have allowed the property to be subdivided into 80 luxury homes. With Zuckerberg's plan, less than 1% of the overall land is actually being developed here. The majority is going to stay dedicated to farming, ranching, conservation, open spaces, and wildlife preservation. Unfortunately, because of all those NDAs, I don't think that we're going to see much more for photos of this property, but shout out again to Wired for doing that in-depth investigation. They uncovered more than we otherwise probably ever would have known about. I'll see you guys next time.